Hello there, this is the Efficiency Smurf again. Um, in this tutorial I will teach you where to place which building within the pattern that I've explained in the previous video. Um, if you haven't watched that video, it's possible that you'll have trouble understanding what's going on in this video, so you should probably watch that one first. So let's do a quick recap. Um, this is the this is the building pattern that you want to fit in on your map as many times as possible. And once you found a spot that looks like it, um, it's time to fill in uh, the available spots with actual workshops. Now, to answer the que the question of well, where to put the buildings, uh, we have to look for a couple of things. Um, I'll start off with the, the thing that I would like to refer to as the second law of efficient building placement, which is as follows. Um, in a production chain, always place the building with the lowest production time as close as possible to the storehouse. Now, why is this the case? Um, to explain this, I'll give you an example of the production chain of bread. Um, I, as you will probably know, in order to get a successful, uh, successful <laughs> production chain, you need four farms, two mills, and one bakery. Now, let's map out the um, production times of mills and bakeries. Um, the bakeries have a base production time of three minutes, and the mills have a, a base production time of six minutes. So, um, you put that in, and then you... Um, at the walking distance times four and you'll get the actual production time. In order to keep up with the mills, uh, the bakery basically has to keep up. They, they have to keep up with two mills. So we can deduce from this that uh, the walking distance of your bakery has to be half of the walking distance to the mills. Uh, uh, the closest that a bakery can be to a storehouse is 6 seconds of walking. So the production time of your bakery would be uh, 3 minutes plus 4 times 6 is uh, 3 minutes and 24 seconds. So now because, uh, because he has to keep up with 2 mills, you can place your mills twice as far away from the storehouse without losing out on efficiency. So the mills can be uh, can be built 12 seconds away. So as you can see in this calculation these buildings will be in perfect equilibrium. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, so uh, the bakery takes 3.24 minutes if it's like this and the mills take uh, 6.48 minutes and they put two flowers, uh, two flowers out and um, Obviously, the, the the bread maker has to uh, needs two flowers in order to work for. Yeah, I I think you get the point. Oh, so we can also um, from from all this follows that the farms don't have to be placed in a very good spot. You can actually get away with placing them like miles away because um, as you can see from this, the the walking distance for for. Um, for farms can be 24 seconds and um, yeah so so the total production time could be 13.36 seconds the, the, the production time of farms are differently calculated from the normal workshops but um, uh, I'll explain more about that later in it but you can probably figure it out yourselves like yeah it should be shouldn't be a problem I think so I hope it's a bit clear um, if the reasoning process behind this is even a tiny bit unclear, uh, feel, just feel free to ask or comment. Um, yeah, we should be able to help you. So let's apply what we've learned in the <laughs> real world. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, as you can see on the good, this good old map, the bakery should be on the six because that's the one that's closest. And the mills can be placed on any of the 12 spots. Um, also note that it's not terrible to place them on one of the 8 or 10 spots. This does not slow down your production. It just... They, they're, they're just uh, better uses for these spots. There's no need to get the mills on the, on the better spots. 
So now let's have a look at what um, what a part of my bread production looks like. So I played the bakery right next to the storehouse. Uh, the mills are right here at the bottom on the 12th spot, and I've decided to place the farm on the left. It's not it's not necessary necessary to place them this close to the storehouse. So you could argue that it's not like 100% efficient, but uh, at this point I'm working on setting up my horse production, so a bit of fast grain is never a bad idea. Like. Um, so that was it for now. Um, I will probably release some more tutorials. Um, I have a couple of ideas for this. Uh, one of them would be a separate guy for every production chain, so a guy on how to optimize wood production, one for bronze, uh, bronze weapons slash tools, etc. Um, another idea I've got is uh, more of an economical guide, which would be on which goods are actually worth producing, or you might be better off just buying some of the goods instead of going through all the effort of producing them. Um, also, implications of um, the thing in economics is called the invisible hand, or rather the op the absence of the invisible hand in the current marketplace could be interesting. I'm not sure if you heard about it, but um, just let me know which kind of tutorials you guys would be interested in. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope you find this tutorial useful waste of your time. And I will see you later.